Okay, so today's lesson is kind of half conceptual, half physical. So it's sort of half hand speed and it's sort of half musical, building your ears and whatnot. So I call it the rhythm tree. And uh, the reason for that is because it's kind of like we go up this tree and then we go back down. Let me show you what I mean. So we're going to start with a really, really, really slow tempo. Quarter note equals 38. All right, so where we start, we're going to do one note per hand per quarter note, like this. Pretty easy. Then we double it. Two notes per hand per quarter note. Or sorry, two notes per quarter note. Yeah, per, per hand, uh, uh, one note per hand, so two per quarter note, like this. Now we go to three notes, three strokes per quarter note. Then we go to four. Now we go to five notes per quarter note. And that means that the note that hits with the quarter note is going to alternate between your right hand and your left hand. One, two, three, four, five. 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 Now we go to six. Triple it, 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 triple it. One, two, three, four, five, six. 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 Now we go to seven, and again our hands are going to alternate. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 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 Now we go to eight notes per hand per quarter note. Oops, sorry. Ah. <laughs> One two three four five six seven eight. 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 Yeah. Okay, so you notice we're not talking in subdivisions here. Uh, we're not thinking that way. We're just thinking number of notes per quarter note. And we started at one per quarter note. We worked our way up to eight. What you'll notice when you get to eight, if you pay attention, is that eight notes per hand, uh, eight notes total per quarter note, is four notes per hand per quarter note. One two three four. One two three four. One two three four. One two three four. One two three four five six seven eight. One two three four five six seven eight. Two four five six seven eight. One two three four. Right? We've been over this before, where if you have a tempo that you can play on one hand, you can double it by slipping the other hand in between. Very slow tempo right now, but these are thirty second notes. Okay, so now we're going to jump up to another uh, another note per hand this time. So now it's five notes per hand per quarter note, which would give us ten notes per quarter note. So it might be easiest just to start with just five per hand. One, two, three, four, five. 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 So that would be um, technically like a, what would that be? Like a 10 stroke, well, like a, like a quintuplet stroke roll, however you want to think about it. Okay, let's keep going. Now we're going to go six notes per hand, which would give us 12 notes total. 
four one two three four five six 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 what I'm thinking about is just my right hand four five six one two three 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 four five six pump let's go to seven notes per hand per quarter note which gives us 14 per quarter note so we've got one two three four five six seven 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 Six seven one two three four five 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 six seven boom okay last one <clears throat> excuse me we're gonna go to eight notes per hand per quarter note that's sixteen notes per quarter note what would that be sixty fourth notes really small okay. One two three four five six seven eight. 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 One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Out. Okay, so I'll play through the whole thing again. Uh, it's kind of a brain twister. It's 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 more more about being able to quickly switch subdivisions. So maybe I'll make some mistakes. We'll see. I don't know. But let's see if I can make it through the whole thing. Okay, so one note per quarter note, two notes per quarter note, three per quarter note, four per quarter note five per quarter note, six, seven, then we get to eight and it goes notes per hand. So four per hand, five per hand, six per hand, seven per hand, eight per hand. Here we go. One, two, one, two, ready, go. I'll do it twice. Two notes per quarter note. Three notes. Four notes per quarter note. Five notes per quarter note. Seven. Eight. Five notes per hand. Here we go. Six per hand. Seven. Eight.
out. There you go. So this is sort of like an advanced countdown exercise, if you want to call it. All right, so let me tell you a couple of things why I like this exercise, and then let me tell you a couple of modifications you can do to sort of incorporate this into your playing. So um, probably the biggest reason that I like this exercise is because it makes you play in, first of all, a tempo you would never play at. That was at quarter note equals 38, ridiculously slow, which is important because you need to be able to feel space just as much as you need to be able to feel notes. So playing quarter notes at 38, one, two, three, four, five. It really gives you a chance to focus on this flow in your arms, right? And then playing eighth notes at the speed, one, and two, and three. It's like you just get to practice everything in slow motion and you really can focus. Okay, the second reason that I like this, second reason I like this exercise uh, is because it really cements the idea of your, everything that you think is fast can be divided in half and it's not that fast. So if I'm playing a rhythm like this, Instead of thinking about it as da 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 I can think about it as just my right hand. If I can just focus on lining up my right hand with the click, chances are pretty good that if I'm sneaking my left hand in, I'm going to have nice even subdivisions. You can overemphasize this by accenting your right hand and then gradually bring that accent down. But right now, I'm just thinking about this. Okay, third reason I like this exercise. Odd timed rolls. 10 stroke rolls. And I think y you gotta be careful because like, get my whiteboard here before I get too carried away. You don't want to think about this as a 10 stroke roll as in 10 30 second notes. These are, this is two sets of quintuplets at 30 second note speed. So it looks like this, you know, you've got quarter notes like this here and within the space of one quarter note, we're fitting. 10 notes like that. See? So that's like a million notes in there. Okay? So this stuff sounds really cool when you take it up just a little bit faster. We're at 38 right now, but you take it up to whatever, like 60, and you're playing a 10 stroke roll. It's probably like a 10 stroke quintuplet roll, we'll call it. So again, the way I get there is I think about my right hand playing fives. One, two, three, four, five, 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 one, two, three, four, five. And that brings me to, well, hold on. Let me talk about the fourth reason why I like this. The fourth reason why I like this is kind of tied in with that last thing, playing odd, te uh, odd, odd subdivision rolls. Sevens are also really great, too. Gives you a 14-stroke uh, seven septuplet roll. Uh, the other reason I like it is because it, it, it allows you to play very, very fast single-stroke rolls at very slow tempo. So when you get up to eight notes per quarter note, eight notes per hand per quarter note, that's 16 notes per quarter note. Uh, 64th notes, so. Allows you to practice uh, what I kind of call like long tones, you know, these long, sustained, relaxed, single stroke rolls. And it's a little sloppy right now. I haven't really warmed up. So what I would do if I was focusing on this technically, I would take it down as slow as I possibly can. 38 is just what I picked today. You could start at 30 if you want. 
eight notes per hand. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Then fill in. It's a pretty good clip for a single stroke roll. If these were 16th notes, our tempo would be like what? Like 180, you know? This is a lot better, um, a lot better way to approach speed, which is f play at slow tempos and then high speed things, rather than trying to play like eighth notes at 200, try to play 64th notes at 30. That'll really force you to make your subdivisions even through a roll, so you don't have rolls that are like whatever, you know. Okay, so let's talk about advanced ways that you can practice things from this exercise. Uh, if you just wanted to play the exercise by itself as a warm-up, I would just go up and then down. Going down is really tricky. Um, but you can incorporate this into your practicing by picking, say, one of those things, like a 10-stroke quintuplet roll, and alternating that against something like uh, 32nd notes or 16th notes, right? So if I had, you know... One two three four five. 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 Okay, and then I wanted to go to uh, thirty second notes. That would be one two three four. One two three four. One two three four. One two three four. Okay, back to fives. One two three four five. 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 One two thirty seconds. One two three four. One two three four. I'll take the left hand out so you can really focus in. So one two three four five. 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 One two three four. One two three four. One two three four. One two three four. A little sloppy because I'm not playing with a metronome. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two. Let's fill in. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. 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 One, two. Switch. Let's take the tempo up. Here we go. One two three four five. 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 One two three four. 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 That 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 that. Once you get really comfortable with switching back and forth, then you can run grids. Right? You make five strokes uh, quintuplets, your A, and you make the 32nd notes, four strokes per hand, your B. So A, B would be uh, quintuplets, 30 seconds, quintuplets, 30 seconds. So that's one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four. Let's go to B A. Here we go. That's one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five. These are great if you're just trying to spice up some like, you know, maybe you're playing on your toms and you're just trying to kind of spice things up. Odd, uh, odd time rolls are also really good if you're in sort of like a free time situation, you know? You just got to like maybe play some kind of soupy cymbal stuff. Play some quintuplet rolls, right? <clears throat> Excuse me. And then if you want to take it even a level deeper, you can go odd timed rolls versus other odd time rolls. So like five uh, quintuplet rolls versus septuplet rolls. So that would be... In English, that would be one, two, three, four, five, 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 versus one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 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 one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm gonna do this with the metronome because it can get can get pretty ugly really quick.
Okay, here we go. So start with fives. One, two, three, four, five. One, two. Ooh, so slow. A little bit faster. <laughs> two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three. Switch. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five. Switch. One, two, three, four, five. 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 One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five. 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 One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Just right hand. One, two, three, four, five. 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 One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Switch. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Switch one two three four five six seven one two three four five six seven both one two three four five 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 six seven one two three four five six seven Let's take that up just a teeny bit faster. <clears throat> okay, now we're at quarter note equals 50. Start with just our right hand. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five. 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 One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five. 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 One two three four 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 five six seven. One two three four five six seven. Let's go both hands. One two three four five. 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 One two three four five six seven. One two three four five six seven. One two. One two three four five. 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 One two three four five six seven. Aha. It's so much fun. It's like the simplest, it's it's such a simple idea, but it, it works so many parts of your brain and your body at the same time. And then you get back to something like even subdivisions, like quarter notes and eighth notes versus triplets and sixteenth notes. And you're like, oh my gosh, this is so easy, you know? Um, let's see, other modifications. I mean, you can obviously do this with double strokes. You could do this with paradiddles. Um, you can do like beat type stuff, you know, um, really popular beat that I've heard a couple drummers do is like something like one, two, three, four, five, 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 right? You could do it with sevens. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Then you double that, so like one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five. Sorry, got a little ring there. One, two, three, four, five, 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 one, two, three, four, five. Right? Sky's the limit. This stuff is super fun. Um, try to help me come up with a name for these. What would you call um, a 10 notes per quarter note roll? We're going to call that like a, a quintuplet 10 stroke and then a 14 note per quarter note roll. I guess we'd call that a 14-let, a 7-tuplet roll. I don't know. You guys can help me come up with a name maybe. 
Sounds cool. Okay. Anybody got any questions? Everybody get everything? Cool. I think that's uh, I think that's gonna do it. I'll leave you guys with that. Um, maybe I'll see if I can write up a quick little a little PDF for you guys to follow this at home. Uh, if you have any questions about the material, you can DM me on Instagram at the Drummer Brain. You can shoot me an email, uh, the Drummer Brain at Gmail dot com. There's uh, some good stuff coming in the future for the website. I'm, I'm kind of brewing up some new ideas, so be patient. Something should be, updates should be coming within the next couple of weeks. Um, otherwise, I will see you guys on Thursday for our kit lesson. Everybody stay safe. Have a great week. Practice up. Happy drums to you all. Till next time.